and welcome back to the another episode of daily news analysis for UPSC 2025. It is 3rd August today and we are going to discuss these eight important articles which were in the newspaper today. You know, every day we upload this video so that we can help you in preparing for, uh, for your next exam. You know, we take up these current affairs so that we'll make this preparation easy for you. It is not that easy to, uh, you know, cover your current affairs from the newspaper. It is very time consuming. And for a normal student, it takes at least three to four hours. So to help you cope uh, this, uh, you know, this phase of your preparation, we had brought up this initiative so that it will help you, uh, you know, prepare your current affairs in a very confined time. We will try to break these articles in the simplest language as possible. And also in the evening session, we upload another video here in which we discuss the daily quiz. We discuss the questions related to the current affairs so that it will give you an idea how the questions could come from the current affairs and also it will help you prepare your current affairs. It will help you revise your current affairs in a best way. And also in the daily quiz session, we discuss few previous year questions so that you will have a proper idea how the question paper do look in the exam and we will you know find out some methods you know by which we can solve the question paper so without any delay first i would like to request you guys please do subscribe the channel and share it with your friends so that they may also get benefited from it and also when you subscribe it gives us the energy so to work more hard on it it motivates us to work more hard on these uh, on these on this initiative uh, to provide you better information so without any delay let's start our discussion today we have to discuss these eight articles let's look at the articles which we have to uh, discuss today the first one the shift in modi's economic direction we have to discuss it with respect to the initial initiatives brought up by the modi government from uh, its first tenure till now how we, we will find out the change in the economic direction how the economic how the economic uh, how the economics of the country has changed from uh, 2014 till now how the approach has changed after that we will discuss about the neat issue how the sc uh, supreme court has directed the government uh, you know to overhaul the neat ug you know it had uh, directed them to form a committee you know which will discuss about what are the changes they need to bring in this neat issue after that, we will discuss about the uh, farmers' protests. How the government, uh, you know, Supreme Court, they, you know, they directed the government to form a neutral panel, which will talk with the uh, protesting farmers and look at the issues. After that, we will discuss about the uh, eco-sensitive areas in Western Ghats with respect to the Vyanan uh, floods, you know, Vyanan, Vyanan landscape uh, due to heavy rains in uh, Kerala. After that, we will discuss about the India-US relation with respect to the recent visit of PM Modi to Russia, how it has impacted the relationship. And after that, we will discuss about the PM's statement about the governors in the recent conference held in Rashtrapati Bound by President. After that, we will discuss about the India selects two crew members for Exim 4 mission to International Space Station. And finally, we will discuss about the India-China relationship. So these are the articles which we have to discuss. Now let's move to our article. It talks about the unstated shift in modes, Modi's economic direction. You know, if we will look at the core concept of uh, uh, economics under Modi's government, uh, under the present government, it has changed a lot since uh, 2014. You know, we, we can see, if we will look into it, if we will analyze it, First, the uh, concept of uh, Modian economy was different. It was, uh, you know, it was based on uh, developing infrastructure. It was based on the trickle down effect that uh, how much that the infrastructure it will build, the capital it will build, it will definitely, uh, you know, uh, lead to employment. It will definitely lead to other benefits. So it will trickle down to the other another areas also. But right now, because, you know, in the recent budget, budget we had seen the government has brought up the employment incentives, it definitely shows that the failure of the earlier 
uh, schemes which the government had brought in. You know, with respect to that, let's discuss this topic in detail. You know, right now, if we will talk about the current economy of the country, we are the Najik economy. So for us, we need more laborers than the automation. You know, said by the finance secretary, TV, uh, Somanathan. He said that we are the Najik economy, the finance secretary. He said that we are the Najik economy and we don't need, need that much automation. Rather, we, will, we need more labor. So it is, uh, you know, slightly contradicting to, to the present, uh, uh, you know, improving economy of the other countries, to the developed economies of the other countries. It is very contradicting, to, uh, contradicting for them because for them automation is the core which is required for the development of economy. Right now, if we, we will look at the schemes brought up by the government in this uh, initiative, in this budget, we had seen the employment linked incentives. You know, in this under this scheme, the company will be provided financial incentive for every new employee they hire. You know, for every new employee a company hires, uh, the government will give them incentives. And this uh, scheme has been criticized a lot because it is said that under this scheme, the companies will, will only, uh, for the sake of the incentives, they will employ rather than the market demand of the country. It will, uh, in fact, uh, harm the economy rather than improving it. And also this trend, uh, this scheme which the government has brought in this employment link incentive, Initiative, initiative. You know, it definitely shows that the earlier schemes which the government was, uh, you know, framed on has, with the government we are bringing in, has failed. Because we know that the traditionally the Modi's economic policy was based on the Washington census. That is the trickle down development model that emphasized the efficient production of goods and services. That emphasized on the, you know, improvement of GDP of the country. That will definitely trickle down to the other core areas, for example, when we will develop our, uh, this was the core idea that when we will develop the GDP, when our GDP will rise, when we will develop our services, it will definitely trickle down to the other areas and it will definitely generate the jobs. But unfortunately, this is not the case, uh, even though our GDP is growing at a tremendous pace, but it is a jobless uh, growth in our country. Our, uh, you know, government is not able to provide the jobs which is required right now. Or, you know, these, uh, this growth is uh, jobless and it is very harmful. We, with respect to that, we had seen, you know, government has brought up money schemes since 2014. For example, Make in India. Then in 2019, big, uh, they, big cut in cor corporate taxes. The aim of these cor big cut in corporate taxes was that they will invest more into the market and, you know, give, generate more jobs. But it, has, it, is, uh, it is evident that it has also failed. Then also government brought up uh, in 2020 the production linked initi initiatives to develop the infrastructure, to develop the other core areas. But we, we had seen that still after bringing all these initiatives, the uh, government is not able to provide the jobs. Now the government has realized that the growth is not that important in our country right now as we are enjoying the highest demographic dividend. The, our, general, our population is, uh, you know, we, are, we have the highest youth population in our country right now and the, most of them are jobless. So government has realized that the growth is not the answer right now. The answer is generation of the jobs. That is why the government has brought up the employment linked incentives where they will provide the incentives to the uh, companies so that they will provide the jobs. So here we can see how the mode, how the model has shifted. Earlier, the government was focused on developing infrastructure, developing the areas, you know, other areas which can provide the jobs. There was no direct attack on the jobs. Right now, after bringing such uh, schemes like the employment linked incentives in this budget, it is clearly evident that the government has changed its, you know, scenario. It is thinking that uh, right now they are trying to uh, attack the employment issue directly rather than going for the trickle down effect. So this was about the shift in uh, Modi's economic direction. I hope I was able to make it clear to you. I hope you understood this topic very well. Now let's move to the another topic. It talks about the uh, Supreme Court puts government on deadline to overhaul NEET, uh, uh, you know, UG. You know, we had seen this uh, NEET issue from the last uh, two to three months. We are seeing that after the declaration of the results of the NEET exams, 
that uh, you know we we had seen the the failure of the system there how there were paper leaks how there were other issues with respect to that timing issues and uh, uh, different issues with respect to the neat exam we had seen the government has failed in there we had seen this uh, that the manner nta nta has conducted exams this year that had given the, the rise of many concerns concerns of corruption concerns of you know misleading the students and all that stuff so with respect to that you know even though they they have the even though the nta has the sufficient resources they have the sufficient funding the time they have that is sufficient the opportunities to organize the exams such as need need you know they have everything in their hand but still they are not able to you know to to provide to you know to conduct these exams without any concerns so with respect to that uh, this three judge uh, supreme court bench headed by the chief justice of india you know directed the center through its high powered committee headed by former uh, indian uh, space research uh, chairperson k uh, radha krishnan to recommend and implement uh, top to bottom overhauling of the test process you know they have to recommend uh, this uh, uh, this research panel this uh, high powered committee which is headed by the in, uh, by the former indian research indian space research, research chair person kri radha krishnan they have to recommend and implement the top to bottom overhauling of the trust process in which they will uh, include uh, uh, rectifying serious uh, security lapses which we had seen uh, to uh, introduce data protection measures uh, periodic audits would be carried out uh, and you know uh, surprise in inspection of test centers and also th there would be the grievance redressal mechanism for the students you know all these issues would be taken you know supreme court has directed this high powered committee to take up these issues and submit uh, and you know they have to submit this report to the yeah. education ministry by the 30th uh, september and ministry has to take the decision on the recommendation within a month and then implement it so this was about the overhauling of the neat uh, you know neat uh, ug examination how we had seen the corruption in, in this area we had seen paper leaks in this area we had seen security issues in this area we had seen grievances from the students with respect to to that that this uh, you know this is the high esteemed post you know this uh, these exams uh, you know they they uh, they show uh, the future of our country uh, on these exams the future of the country is dependent the fu the future doctors are dependent on these exams so they need to be conducted in a best way possible without any corruption without any leaks so with respect to that the government uh, the supreme court uh, three judge bench which is headed by the chief justice of india they had recommended the high powered uh, community uh, high powered high powered committee uh, headed by the former indian space research chair person k radha krishnan to recommend and implement top to bottom overhauling of the trust test process so in this uh, you know uh, the things which would be included like uh, like uh, taking the serious uh, security issues uh, data protection would be taken into consideration periodic audit uh, audits and uh, surprise inspection of the test centers and also the grievance uh, redress mechanism for the students so all these would be taken into the consideration and these recommendations uh, you know they have to submit their report the this committee this high powered committee has to submit its report to the education ministry by 30th september and ministry has to take the decision on the recommendation within a month and then implement it so uh, about this implementation this is the topic for the next discussion we will see how the government will deal with this now moving to the another article it talks about the setting up of neutral panel for talks with the farmers you know we had seen from last to four to five months there uh, you know actually from last two to three years these protests are going in a to and fro manner sometimes if uh, there is true sometimes uh, you know the, the these farmers are active right now the you know they have their demands uh, with respect to the msp and other demands which we had already discussed previous year also there are many demands of the farmers for that they had blocked the roads for example shambhu border they had blocked which uh, connects the haryana and the punjab you know now uh, with respect to that the supreme court had advised uh, uh, you know setting up of a neutral panel to negotiate with the farmers 
you know they had advised the government you have to negotiate with the farmers you have to take the you know you have to show the state statesmanship approach you have to talk with the farmers you know you have to advise them you have to you know take their considerations into the cons and they have, you have to take their uh, concerns you have to you know kya kehte hain inko matlab unko manana hai aapko ki that their equipments they are carrying on the roads for example they have with them they have tractor jcbs and other agricultural equipments they should return to the fields rather than uh, on the uh, you know on the roads you know you, they have to convince them that uh, uh, they have to convince them to leave the roads and we will take the proper decision regarding their uh, demands so with respect that the supreme court has suggested that there should be a neutral panel there should that mem you know those who will talk with the farmers they should be the neutral ones they should not be from the government so that if anybody from the government will talk with them then there would be a you know matlab ki ek bias there would be the chances of bias in that so the supreme court suggested that there should be no political party involved in it no no one should be involved from the government in this you know this it should be the totally neutral panel which should address these issues and in in this case the uh, supreme court has suggested having a former top court judge with an agricultural background to be the part of the neutral panel who would negotiate with the farmers and the government regarding these issues they would discuss them and they will try to come to the proper solution which is needed and which is the need of the time so this was about the setting up of neutral panel for talks with the farmers so now moving to the another uh, issue another topic of today's discussion it talks about the center reissues draft notification on eco sensitive areas in western ghats you know after landslides in vyanand you know union government has reissued for the sixth time in decade a draft notification classifying parts of the western ghats you know it has not done it only once this is the sixth time uh, sixth time they had issued this notification but unfortunately the states are not following this right now the six states uh, you know uh, this notification had uh, found out six uh, in the six states they had found out the economic ecological sensitive areas about these ecological sensitive areas this uh, you know if this status is given to any area then this will impose restrictions on economic activities such as uh, Uh, mining uh, large infrastructure development and other areas so it will definitely definitely impact the economy of that particular state that is why states are hesitant in uh, taking action with respect to that you know this will definitely impose these restrictions about this uh, you know this notification from the central government from the union government you know it has proposed to declare 13 villages in avayanand as part of the economic sensitive area but you know the important the irony with this report is that it came at that time when there was already landscape in the vyanand and the union government said that it is a coincidental you know they were going to provide this but unfortunately at the same time this event had happened and now it seems that after seeing this event they had added these 13 villages in the vyanand but the union government is saying they had already mentioned the, this and it was planned to be you know notified in this month itself but unfortunately it coincided with the uh, with the natural with the uh, you know natural disaster about these uh, economic sensitive zones uh, in these in the western ghats we had already discussed about the gadgil uh, you know report how they divided this whole western ghats into three economic zones you know in economic sensitive zone 1 economic sensitive zone 2 and economic sensitive zone 3 then after that how they were not uh, uh, you know how those recommendations were not uh, followed by the government after that the other another high level committee they issued another report in which they divided uh, this uh, uh, land into two economic zones you know we did, we discussed with respect to that in that context itself uh, you know about uh, this uh, uh, the report the notification provided by the, the union government right now uh, dividing uh, these Uh, these six states as ecological you know areas in the western ghats in six states as the economic ecological sensitive areas it will have a wide impact on the economy of these states and you know we will see how these notifications will be implemented by the, by the following states as these this draft notification is yet to become law because they, they you know 
despite it it has it is six iterations the draft notifications is yet to become law as all six uh, affected states have objected to uh, specific places that have been uh, included in the economic sensitive areas so this was about the ecological uh, sensitive areas and i hope you know you understood the topic the con core concept behind it moving forward to the another important topic of today's discussion it talks about the india us ties testimony to changing world this is the statement made by the jay shankar india's external uh, affairs minister he said that uh, the india's us uh, ties are testimony to the changing world you know after uh, the pm's visit to russia there was huge criticism against his visit it was at the time when there was uh, the summit of nato going to be held in usa and usa does not like it that even the usa you know they criticized india openly they said that their relationship with russia will harm their relationship with us us and also they said that russia is not that much uh, that good friend with the india right now as it is with the china because they are more dependent on china and you know in in simpler terms the usa uh, the officials from the usa warned india that if there would be any war uh, against india and china then russia will support china because they are much dependent on china and you know it is prime time for india to recognize its uh, friendship which country they have to be friends with with respect to that there was huge criticism uh, uh, against india's against pm modi's visit to russia so with the respect to that the pm uh, the uh, external affairs minister jay shankar said that india uh, us relations uh, relationship has not been inconsistent it is very much consistent these issues least impact our relationship you know whatever the public debate is the two countries are consistently uh, beating market expectation for the from the last uh, from the past 25 years you know we are, our relationship is the testimony of the changing world that it is unbreakable and it is very much consistent these small things will have least impact on our relationship and mr jay shankar was answering to these questions when he said so so this was little bit update about uh, this uh, you know we need to know about these things being an aspirants so i thought it is important to mention this in today's discussion now moving to the another article of today's discussion it is also very small article in this it is about the governor should be a bridge between center and state uh, pm modi made the statement you know right now we, we had seen often the governor's office is in the news it is criticized because it is said that the the governor acts as a you know political representative of the center so often the governor uh, governor's post is uh, the debate in the news is often debate in the supreme court so with respect to that uh, you know in the rashtrapati bhavan for the two days conference under the uh, president uh, you know governor's uh, meet was there when the pm addressed them and said these comments that uh, pm uh, prime, prime minister he urged governors to be an effective bridge between the center and state you know the post of the governor is very important for the country the governors could play a very crucial role in the welfare of the people especially the tribal people he further added that the governors should play the role of an executive bridge they should you know be the connecting link between the center and the state rather than any you know any rifting link between the center and the state and to this the president also added that the governor should promote coordination across all the states mm -hmm. so this was very small article with respect to the uh, governor's post what the pm statements are you know such statements you need to know you, while writing your exams you can add up in the questions if any questions would be asked about the governor's post you can add up these statements in your questions while writing your answers Moving forward to the another article of today's discussion, it talks about the you know India selects two crew members for uh, uh, you know exam four mission to uh, International Space Station. About uh, you know uh, you know this is the Indian astronaut uh, you know in this the two uh, Indian astronauts were selected, uh, namely uh, group captain. Shubhan Shukla, Shukla and the group captain uh, Prasant Balakrishna Nair they were selected for this you know 
to they were selected to uh, you know to be the members for the exim for mission to international space station you know they have to go to the usa to train for the exim for mission to the international space station the motive the national mission uh, assigned uh, assignment board has recommended them as a prime and backup mission pilots for the for this mission about the exim for uh, mission this is the fourth private astronaut mission to the international space station you know towards the goal of uh, uh, mounting a joint isro nasa uh, efforts the human space flight center of the isro has entered into the space flight agreement with the nasa's identified space provider exam space uh, nc for its upcoming exam for mission to the uh, you know international space station in this the two astronauts from india will uh, join them and they will be trained there and for the mission to the international space station you know i had forgot to add the last uh, slide here i would uh, you know uh, talk about that you know it is about the uh, india china relationship you know after Uh, the economic budget you know after the economic survey was uh, published there was a term that we need the chinese investments in india so that sparked a discussion that uh, where should you know india china relationship go from right now from now to what direction these relationships should go you know with respect that different discussions had been held and recently the ambassador from the china he he held a discussion and he talked about the five mutuals which the india and uh, you know china should understand and work together rather than working against each other they should you know cooperate with each other and you know in cooperation we both countries will develop in the best way so with respect to that we have to understand what those five mutuals are he talked about the you know first mutual the mutual respect there should be the mutual respect between the two countries for the initiatives both the countries bring in for the work they do there should be the mutual respect there should be least criticism of each other you know respect for each other's efforts should be there then there should be the mutual understanding uh, rather than uh, conflicting on this uh, on the war zones there should be mutual understanding of each other each other's perspective so that uh, we will develop in the best way and also there should be the mutual trust should be there so that you know when when trust when there is trust between the countries then the country is develop in the best way that mutual trust should be between india and uh, china and also the mutual accommodation right now if we 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 cannot ignore one thing that china is our uh, you know neighbor and we cannot move that uh, we cannot move china away from us so it would remain our neighbor till the eternity till the world ends china would be our neighbor so we have to mutually accommodate with each other so this is also one of the important thing which we have to take into consideration for the development of our relationship and finally there should be the mutual accomplishment that what we want to accomplish in the future what our economies want to accomplish what as a country we want to accomplish we have to understand that that accomplishment should be very much mutual to the to both the countries so that we will develop in the better way so with this i hope uh, our discussion is over i hope i was able to make these articles uh, understand to you guys you know i try you know i try to break these articles in the simplest language you know i hope uh, you were able to catch up what i was uh, you know uh, trying to explain to you guys now let us give a final revision what we had discussed in today's discussion the first article which we discussed was about the uh, changes in the modi's economic direction how the um, how the concept of economy for the country has changed in the modi's regime from its initial days till now when he brought up the employment linked incentives after that we discussed about the uh, about the supreme court as they put government on deadline to overhaul the neat ug exams pattern you know government to restru- restructure the exam process uh, with respect to the neat and ug and to take the and also recommended nta to take some serious uh, you know points into the consideration so that these things would not repeat you know it was the three judge bench headed by the chief justice of india in which he recommended the high powered committee to uh, to uh, to you know he uh, under the uh, under the chairmanship of the former indian space research uh, you know k radhakrishnan 
to recommend and implement the top uh, to bottom overhauling of the test process. After that, uh, after this article, we discussed about the setting up of neutral panel for talks with the uh, protesting farmers. After that, we discussed about the center issues, draft notifications on eco-sensitive areas in the Western Ghats with respect to the recent landslides in Kerala. We discussed with it with, with respect to that. After that, we discussed India-US ties testimony to changing world set by the Jay Shankar. We discussed about it a little bit. After that, we discussed about the PM PM statement that governor should be a bridge between center and a state. We discussed about it. After that, we discussed about how India selects two crew members for Exim 4 mission to International Space Station. This Exim 4 mission is the private uh, astronaut mission to the International Space Station. This would be the fourth private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. After that, we discussed about the formation of Hayu Mutuals which can help bring China in their relations back to a stable and sound track. So with this, we conclude today's discussion. I hope uh, this will help you somehow in your preparation. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you very much.